checking out this video, don't forget, like and subscribe. All right, the ticket on sale date for WrestleMania 41 is just over a month away. They are going on sale to the general public. 1 p.m. Eastern, Friday, October 25th. Two-night event, Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas. Saturday, April 19th, Sunday, April 20th of 2025. Yes, April 19th and 20th. Ticket presale begins Wednesday, October 23rd. For those interested in presale access, WWE has a mailing list to receive information. They are attempting to avoid the Final Four of the NCAA March Madness Basketball Tournament. First time that Vegas has hosted a WrestleMania since 1993. And what a WrestleMania that was. 1993. The Raw Show, SmackDown, NXT... WWE World, which is the former Fanatics, it's the Fan Fest, and the 2025 WWE Hall of Fame Ceremony will also take place in Las Vegas, surrounding WrestleMania 41. Man, maybe they'll do Raw at that globe. What do you think? <laughs> First of all, it's the Sphere. The Sphere, and that's right. I don't think they're doing Raw at the Sphere. I think if you're going to do it, you've got to go all the way. It's got to be Mania or Oh, bust. yes, of course. Or, I mean, you could do SummerSlam, I guess. But really, I think you want to reserve something of that magnitude for the biggest show. I mean, if you're doing it one time, I mean, you've got to do... Uh, the, the only you got other... to do Mania. If you're doing it more no, than once, you can do SummerSlam. No, they could also do Crown Jewel. Yeah. WWE you know what? Riyadh, Riyadh Season presents Crown Jewel. Actually, you know, here's another sphere. thing, though. Here's another thing. Okay, this is why I. The more that I think about it, it, maybe it wouldn't be a mania, is because both mania and SummerSlam are two night events. Are you gonna rent out this globe for two straight nights? It's the sphere. I thought we just. I thought I just said the sphere, and you said it was the globe. No. What is it? The sphere. The world. It's the sphere. All right. Whatever. There's also, L.A. has a smaller version, the Cosm. I Excuse believe. me? Yes. Is this, that part of the extraterrestrial highway? <laughs> I believe it's a COSM. Hmm. Interesting. All it right. is. It is interesting. Okay. Well, that's the uh, that's the update on WrestleMania. Who's do going, everybody? Who's going? I'm going this year. Uh, Brian, do they yes. have venues announced for the other shows? Because no, I don't think I so. I mean, we have T-Mobile, obviously the T-Mobile Arena is there MGM, Mandalay Bay, all within striking distance of one another. The park MGM is usually where UFC will do, like, or maybe the Golden Knights and other sports teams will do outdoor events, some fan fests out in front of the T-Mobile. So it's going to be wild. I mean, I know they're trying to avoid the Final Four, but you can't really – avoid you know a packed weekend in las vegas at that point in the year yeah it's difficult to uh avoid the madness of las vegas unless we get outside vegas and onto that extraterrestrial highway why are we doing that now why don't we do it in like we could do like a crazy two weeks in vegas where we do that and then go to wrestlemania see which one's more wild we could do whatever we want brian i know just trying to make some plans here. I'm looking at the calendar right now, seeing what would work best. Do you know what I'm saying? Well, what's on the calendar for this week? What was on the calendar for this past weekend? Well, what got... did I miss? Well, I mean, you missed nothing. I did a bunch of stuff, you know. Let's talk about Max. A deal between AEW and Max may not only be for the promotion's pay-per-views. A report from Andrew Zarian over the weekend stated that AEW pay-per-views will be available on Max in January 2025 or potentially even sooner. However, during a recent interview with WFAN, the AEW president said the relationship with Max could involve more than that. After the merger, because AEW had been really successful, or one of the companies uh wbd have really gotten behind and built and grown with it's awesome to us because as cable has changed there are a lot of possibilities in streaming he said when asked about a w pay-per-views ending up on max Khan responded it's not just the pay-per-views that could end up there 
The plan is to, I think he said, do a lot of things potentially with Max. And that could involve a variety of things. Yes, a lot of things, Tony, would involve a variety of things. But we have the shows on TBS TNT. That's how they're available now. But I think as far as Dynamite, Collision, Rampage, pay-per-views, everybody, every, everything is on the table. The pay-per-views for sure. We've had great conversations about streaming. Been doing it for Bleach Report, but they are sunsetting Bleach Report, thank God. From now on, we're going to be doing our pay-per-views on other apps. So we shall see, but you know, what I would like to see is the library. I want to see the library available on Max because I would like, you know, these uh, primetime wrestlings that we watch on the Brian Avini show, I mean... They've run their course. We're going to do a couple more weeks to make it through Mania 3. But then we need something else. Got a lot of suggestions for Mid-South. But, you know, it would be very fun to do five years ago in AEW and compare the show five years ago to the show today and just have a, a look back, much like we do with the Monday Night Wars. So hopefully that is part of this deal is the library and the pay-per-views on Max. But we'll get Tom Sots after the break, and i got to clarify something. Observer Live. Observer is here, Wrestling Observer Live. Mike Semper Vivi, also of WrestlingObserver.com. What do you think of this Max deal? What are you whining about with Hulu? <laughs> Buddy, Mike Semper Vivi is also of WrestlingObserver.com, but he's not here today. Oh, yeah. Old habits so, die hard. Uh, well, my Hulu subscription took a price hike mm. once again and i am just filled to the brim with streaming services let me tell you overflowing i have every single one i don't want any of them max max better get this aew on there because i was looking at the sports programming that they do offer not impressed yeah some baseball tomorrow. Orioles at Yankees. I'm sure it'll be a fine contest. World Cross Country Championship. I mean, you're not even going to be able to get WWE on Hulu here pretty soon. What it's, do you mean? It's going to be gone. Well, well, I have Hulu with live. I see. That's Well, I mean, Rob won't be issue. on Hulu. Well, yeah, I also have Netflix. Well, yeah, that'll be that. You know, I, uh, yeah, you know, speaking of uh, Hulu Plus Live TV, that's what you got? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, you know, Dave and I have been having this argument about the DVR and YouTube TV, and he has had the nerve to belittle YouTube TV. Why don't you get a better service, he said? Well, I actually looked it up. And first off, I should note that I have actually tried every single one of these services because I, I travel and I have to watch these shows. So I've I've done every single one of them. I've done Hulu Live TV. I have done uh, Sling. I have done YouTube TV. Fubo. I, done, uh, I mean, you name it, I've done it, okay? Spice Channel. And the best one, by miles, by miles, is YouTube TV. And so I looked it up, and in fact... As far as, like, streaming services, okay? I'm not talking about, like, you know, you're getting cable or satellite. As far as streaming services, this little rinky-dink YouTube TV that we need to find a better service, it is the most watched streaming service by double, okay? Number two is Hulu Plus Live TV. They've got, like, 4 million subscribers. YouTube TV has over 9 million, and, you know, slings down there at, like, Two million or something like that. So you know when people say, "Oh well, yeah, eh," this is this is the number one streaming service by double. So I think that you know whatever issues AW is having, they should try to remedy them because the vast majority of their streaming subscribers are in fact on YouTube TV. Just want to throw that out there. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button, and you'll never miss a video again.